Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. We begin with a reckless stunt by Carhoons on us. As you're about to see, these cowboys surrounded our vehicle on a busy road and forced it to stop. What happened next defies belief. Why are you guys filming my vehicle? Try it. Try it. Try it. Wait, jump, jump in front of me. Don't use the word Oh, my God. It's just before 11.30, a weeknight on a busy highway. And this young hoon isn't happy to see us. But that's no excuse for what's about to happen. Within seconds, the sports car driver moves in front of us and abruptly brakes, forcing us to go from 80 to zero. Ground to a halt in the middle lane of a busy highway. Agitated, the young driver gets out and makes for our window. Why, why are you guys filming my vehicle? Excuse me? Well, Moments later, a second car pulls up. We're completely blocked in. The driver, well aware of the danger, he's put us all in. You might want to put your hazard lights on. After a few minutes, they allow us to move, but they plan to follow us. We pull over to compose ourselves in a well-lit place a couple of kilometres up the road. We establish the doors are locked. Who are you? Within seconds, the hoons make a second approach. Why are you, Why are you shaking? Video me, video me all you want. Yeah, someone's down in each corner. Why jump, jump in front of him so you can't get out. And in just minutes, we're surrounded. That's when the insults start flying. Got up, you got my face. Nah, man, she's older than 40. They then try to bring police into it, making false allegations about our behaviour. They're saying we're hanging out the windows filming them. Forgetting the dangerous scene they created just moments ago. Pulling in front of our car and stopping on the freeway with the hazard lights on is pretty alarming. The down here catching up with people. We're not doing anything wrong. Ten minutes later, they're still blocking our exit. It's getting close to midnight and the mob is becoming unruly. Concerned we may make a break for it, this young driver is at the ready to follow us should we try to leave. By now, the intimidating pack has grown to more than a dozen. Surrounding the door, this self-described car enthusiast tries to justify why he and his mates flock to this notorious well, Melbourne strip of highway. We're out here, we get our drag tra tracks taken away from us. They begin to use this opportunity to have their say. Where do they expect people to go? We can't control their actions. We honestly can't. There's no more than you can control an action. You action. can't control their actions, but surely what you're doing can encourage them. I'm not one of those persons, that, people that stand on the side of the road. I'm out here for an enjoyment point, point of view and to see, see cars, yes, that is the case. But There's a lot of car enthusiasts out here and a lot of people that race up and down the street. There are always going to be people on the street dragging, OK? I'm not going to deny that. Despite having us hemmed in, they claim it's not just young drivers who do the wrong thing. I've gone across there in a Ferrari that's 50 years old that just took off harder than anybody else here. Across the road, one hoon has been stopped by police, caught for doing a burnout. Of course it is. Every person here is accountable for their own mistakes and their own, own decisions. So. And if you thought it was just young men out on the you road, think man. again. A, a Treating the roadway as a racetrack, this female driver fishtails in front of us and takes off, only the smell of rubber and thick black tyre tracks. Back across the road, a tow truck arrives and the vehicle caught earlier doing a burnout is impounded. It's not the first. Since being introduced in 2006, close to 17,000 cars have been impounded under Victoria's Hoon laws. The local residents are having to put up with just an awful racket coming from the drivers uh, racing up and down the local streets in Princes Highway. It's just got to stop. Fed up with the late night screeching of tyres and revving of cars, one local resident is taking matters into his own hands. If they're not speeding and doing donuts and other messing around in their cars, they must certainly be breaking noise regulations. Stuart and his wife moved here several years ago. 
Unable to sleep some nights, he believes the problem is getting worse. Um, it's uh, big engines being revved up, wheels spinning, uh, people just carrying on in the cars, and it's just uh, really loud at nights. It wakes the whole neighbourhood. He's begun letter dropping in the area, urging residents to dob in a home. This is getting out of control. Something needs to be done. <laughs> Years ago, this area was the scene of one of Melbourne's worst riots. Hundreds of hoons brought the highway to a halt, targeting a Bob Jane T-Mart. They began smashing windows, lighting flares, stealing car parts, even turning over a car. All in protest against the cancellation of the Eastern Nats race meet at the Calder Park Raceway. Senior Sergeant Andrew Stamper says the problem has lessened, but it is still an issue. I have many emails every day from residents who are just who are just really over the noise, sometimes till five o'clock in the morning, the sound of revving engines and, uh, and burning tyres. Police have been dealing with problem drivers in the area for decades. He says it's not unusual for hundreds to gather along the Princess Highway. They're here both as spectators and, and unfortunately they uh, seem, or well, some of them seem to think that uh, it's uh, ex acceptable to drive recklessly on, uh, on the highways in this area. But hoons watch out, police are cracking down. If you are doing the wrong thing, you will get caught. Back at our car, it's been more than an hour since we were first trapped in the middle of the highway. They think they've had their say, and one by one, they finally leave us. Pretty intimidating behaviour. If you have an issue with car hoons in your area, we want to know about it. Send us an email or give us a call.